If UNITAR is to continue to work on the realization of the SDGs, then how we are able to do that in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic recovery is absolutely central to the discussions of many countries. The COVID-19 pandemic has set back progress in achieving the SDGs, slowed down efforts to adapt to the effects of climate change, and put tremendous pressure on the healthcare system in many countries. UNITAR is now putting its efforts into helping the UN member states to build back better while they continue realizing the SDGs. When it comes to the recovery phase after the COVID pandemic, the online learning techniques and methodologies that UNITAR has been using for a long time has been something that has made it even more possible for UNITAR to very quickly transform the organization and its methods. And I think that this is something that is also going to be important for UNITAR also after the pandemic. Our long experience in the use of technology has allowed us to carry on our work during the pandemic ensuring that a large number of beneficiaries have continued access to our knowledge and learning solutions, despite the current circumstances. Um, because of our closed borders due to, due to COVID at the moment, uh, we were unable to do a face-to-face -face training. However, we were fortunate to have the training conducted virtually, which allowed for the opportunity to include more participants, rather than having to send one or two officials for, for a training. Meanwhile, our work on addressing other urgent global issues continues. One of the most challenging issues facing the world today is tackling the climate crisis. We are very aware of the immense difficulties that member states have in generating and accessing useful data and information for decision-making, particularly our small states. Through the Common Sensing Project, UNITAR's UN Satellite Centre has worked to build the technical and analytical capacities of government officials and stakeholders to gather data and translate it into actionable intelligence in order to enhance evidence-based decision-making. UNITAR UNISAT are ensuring that beneficiary countries have all the tools and knowledge to make use of the common sensing platform, which is crucial for the practical use and applicability for access to climate finance. It's an important project also because it's designed to build capacity within our countries. Another major challenge has been how to improve healthcare systems to build resilience with a special focus on addressing the high rate of deaths and disabilities due to non-communicable diseases, also known as NCDs. The Defeat NCD Partnership, hosted by UNITAR, is assisting lower income and lesser developed countries to scale up sustained action against NCDs. The ability of the Defeat NCD Partnership to co-create a cost of action plan with the ministries of health around the world is crucial. Countries can accelerate their attention to NCDs and the needs of their people by tapping the resources that Defeat NCDs offer them. The Defeat NCD Partnership thinks big and we really appreciate that and the marketplace truly has the potential to really change the game. Our continuous efforts in helping countries and beneficiaries in need are only made possible with the support of our partners and donors. Sweden very much uh, believes in the mandate of UNITAR when it comes to the implementation of Agenda 2030. UNITAR has the ability to build coherence to bring all of these projects and programs together and to translate them into real action on the ground. As we design our new strategy for the next four years, we are paying special attention to how we can further help our beneficiaries, especially the most vulnerable ones, through our partnerships. As Sweden, we would warmly welcome other governments to also come together with us and support the UNITAR Strategic Framework Fund. Together we can continue transforming mindsets through learning and knowledge and reach hundreds of thousands of beneficiaries around the world.